hello everyone welcome back to my channel so my dear friends today i am with the problem solving video of the mathematics subject m3 for the 2021 scheme students it is a four year series the most important chapter most important module in the m third over there so today i will discuss about the six marks question of this particular four year series in which the questions will be like obtain the four year series of f of x the function will be given pi minus x by 2 this is the most frequently asked question in the vtu examination so this is this is that is why i have taken this question in consideration for this particular video so that you will find easiness in this particular question so uh, the intervals will be given 0 to 2 pi and hence deduce that you have to uh, deduce this particular equation here pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus so so on so you have to deduce this one right so first of all you have to remember this uh, man equation for this Fourier series so this is the Fourier series expansion that is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos of nx plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin of nx where uh, these a naught uh, this a naught is a constant over here and this a n and b n are called the Fourier coefficient so this is the man formula of the Fourier series which you have to use in this particular question over here so let me tell you first i have written here the note that is if f of x is even function so this is f of x uh, if it is even function when it is even function when we can say that this particular function is a even when we put the value of this particular x as 2 pi minus x you have to write down instead of x 2 pi minus x if you are getting the positive function again this function again so it is even function right if it is odd so when we can say that it is an odd function when we just uh, put this again we will 2, uh, 2 pi minus x instead of x if you are getting minus times this term so this is an odd function right so we have to just uh, first to find out uh, it is an even function or an odd function so let us check it over here then accordingly we have to uh, find out this uh, Fourier series expansion uh, expansion right so let me start so given is given data what is the given that is f of x is equal to pi minus x upon 2 over here where x interval is 0 to 2 pi in this case over here so let me put um, this x value as 2 pi minus x we will check it if it is a even or odd then accordingly we can uh, put forward these particular values a naught b n etc so right let me put this value so f of 2 pi minus x which is equal to pi minus i am putting instead of x 2 pi 2 pi minus x so uh, here is pi minus x so what is the value of x x i am putting here 2 pi minus x right so it will become 2 pi minus x over here then divided by 2 so it is pi minus into 2 pi that is minus 2 pi minus into minus plus uh, that is x over here divided by 2 right so it is minus 2 pi plus pi it will become minus pi plus x upon 2 so this function you are getting in this case f of 2 pi minus x so minus pi plus x by 2 it is definitely opposite of this as it is a positive one so this is pi minus x by 2 this is minus pi plus x by 2 so you are getting f of 2 pi minus x is equal to minus times f of x which is this condition that is uh, f of 2 pi minus x is equal to minus f of x so you are getting it over here so it is definitely an odd function over here right so let me just solo it in another page over here so it will uh, it is definitely an odd function so it is an odd function odd function right i hope you are getting my point so this is uh, when uh, f of x is odd function so uh, you have to calculate this a naught is equal to zero in the odd function a and a n is equal to zero these two values a naught is equal to zero a n is equal to zero in the odd function you have to only calculate this one term that is b n if it was even function so then you have to calculate uh, a n or and a naught and in which case b n is equal to zero so in this case we are getting odd function right so a naught uh, is equal to zero and a n is equal to zero then we have to calculate only b formula over here b n right so we i can say here therefore f of x as it is an odd function therefore f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sine of n x let me call it first equation just because these two values are 0 a naught is equal to 0 a naught is equal a n is equal to 0 so these terms are neglected so i have to just focus on this particular term that is b n sine of n x right so let me tell uh, 
you what how to calculate this bn value so bn is equal to in fourier series 2 by pi integration of 0 to pi and f of x sine of nx dx this is the formula for bn in the fourier series which you have to remember in this case right so now i can uh, accordingly solve it so which is equal to 2 upon pi integration of 0 to pi f of x it is given f of x is given so this is pi minus x by 2 right so this is pi minus x by 2 into sine of nx dx right then which is equal to this 2 and 2 gets cancelled over here so it will become 1 upon pi integration of 0 to pi pi minus x sine of nx dx right then accordingly i can solve this particular question with the help of bernoulli's rule of integration i hope you are you are knowing the bernoulli's rule of integration so let me tell you how to do it so this will become 1 by pi now i had to do bernoulli's integration so let me first do integration of this with the help of uh, bernoulli so integration of pi minus x i can write it as pi minus x as it is then uh, sine of nx the integration of sine nx which is equal to cos of that is minus cos of nx by n right then differentiation of this term but in the formula there is minus first differentiation of this term with respect to x so pi is definitely 0 minus x the differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 over here into integration of this term cos of nx by n you have to do integration of this particular term so it is equal to minus sine of nx by n square right so this is the integration of this particular term where integrals are from 0 to pi that is 0 to pi i am writing over here and accordingly this 1 by pi i am writing it over here i hope you are getting my point so my dear friends uh, basics uh, you uh, you need to remember the formulas of this uh, particular sign and pi uh, like that so i will write it over here in the, this page so aside i am writing sign of n pi is equal to 0 and sign of 0 is equal to 0 cos of n pi is equal to minus 1 raised power n and cos of 0 is equal to 1 these are the basic formulas which you have to memorize which you have to rem remember in this Fourier, se Fourier series over here so sin n pi is equal to 0 I am getting it over here when you just apply uh, upper limit and lower limit you will get sin of n pi here so sin of n pi is 0 so 0 multiplied by anything it will become 0 over here so I am getting here the function as 1 upon pi minus 1 by n why minus 1 by n just because this minus I am taking out and this n I am taking out over here so it will become pi minus x and cos of n x 0 to pi integral right so i will get bn is equal to this is just bn i am taking out here so bn is equal to this minus 1 i am taking out so minus 1 upon n pi n into pi is n pi right then pi minus x so you have to apply now upper limit and lower, lower limit so pi minus pi that is 0 right so i am writing here pi minus pi so that you will just get clarity minus now x pi minus 0 so this is pi minus 0 cos of n pi right cos of n pi now i have to solve it accordingly so it will become pi minus pi is 0 and minus into pi is minus pi cos of n pi that is i have written here cos of n pi is equal to minus 1 raised power n right so when you just uh, uh, when you just use these upper limits and lower limits so it will you will accordingly get minus 1 upon n pi and this minus pi into minus pi over here so you will get with this uh, minus and minus will uh, get positive over here so positive 1 upon this pi and pi gets cancelled 1 by n you are getting over here so bn is equal to 1 by n now you can just put this bn value in the particular equation that is Fourier uh, Fourier series equation so f of x is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 raised power n infinity bn is 1 by n sine of n x over here so you are getting this particular equation that is Fourier series equation now we have to reduce this particular formula that is pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 let us do it in another page over here so I'm this f of x it is given already in the question right so this is pi minus x by 
2 over here so it will, I will write it over here as pi minus x by 2 which is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 upon n sine of nx right now uh, you should already know here one basic formula also sine of nx is also equal to sine of n pi by 2 so instead of this x this is pi by 2 here now I uh, let me put this value let let uh, x is equal to pi by 2 over here right so I can write it pi by pi minus this x I am writing here as pi by 2 right divided by 2 which is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 upon n sine of n pi by 2 also you should remember uh, the values of these particular formula sine of pi by 2 which is equal to 1 sine of 2 pi by 2 is equal to 0 sine of 3 pi by 2 is equal to minus 1 sine of 4 pi by 2 is equal to 0 and sine of 5 pi by 2 which is equal to 1 we will get it later on in the particular question so i have make it, it it in the box over here so that it will be used in the particular formula right so let me calculate this so it will become pi minus pi by 2 when you just put this part in the kelc over here so pi shift pi minus pi upon shift pi upon 2 which is equal to this divided by 2 which is uh, we are getting as pi by 4 right so this is pi by 4 is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 upon n sine of n pi by 2 right this is uh, the up to the mark now i have to just expand this particular term we will get pi by 4 which is equal to summation of these terms so first of all i will take uh, n value as 1 then sine of 1 pi by 2 1 pi by 2 plus 1 upon now i can take uh, n is equal to 2 1 by 2 sine of n pi by 2 that is 2 pi by 2 right plus accordingly plus 1 by 3 sine of 3 pi by 3 pi by 2 plus 1 upon 4 sine of 4 pi by 2 plus 1 upon 5 sine of 5 pi by 2 so so on right so just i have written here the values of sine pi by 2 sine 2 pi by 2 so it will become very simple in front of you so let me take let me put these values in the particular equation now so it will become sine of pi by 2 that is 1 over here sine pi by 2 is 1 plus 1 upon 2 sine 2 pi by 2 sine 2 pi by 2 is 0 so 0 multiplied by anything it is 0 then plus 1 upon 3 sine of 3 pi by 2 sine of 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 over here so i can write it minus 1 right then plus 1 upon 4 sine of 4 pi by 2 is also 0 so it will become 0 over here plus 1 by 5 uh, sine 5 pi by 2 is also again 1 over here so i am getting pi by 4 which is equal to 1 this is minus 1 by 3 plus 0 i am not writing over here plus 1 by 5 then accordingly we will get plus so so on so so on so you have to deduce this formula as mentioned in the question over here you can see this you were supposed to deduce over here pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 upon 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus so so on so you are getting pi by 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 or you can write uh, 1 by 7 accordingly alternatively so this is the answer for this particular question so it is a six marks question i hope it is uh, easy to understand over there so if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section so that i can clear over there so thanks for watching my video